continuing here, I think I accidentally pressed the stop button. So it is. Two fifty one PM Saturday, June sixth, twenty twenty, BK from Manforce.com, Manforce Media. Continuing filming this March. And good afternoon. So as you can see, all the proud polite patriotic Canadians here. Can restore the confidence. Good afternoon, young lady. Can restore the confidence that people lose uh, as they sketchy and bothering each other. To all the people out there that see the proud, polite, patriotic, confident Canadians and go, yeah, you know what? I want to show and get respect with that. As opposed to just lose it bothering people, making them put up with me or lose it being bothered putting up with them. And anybody that can't, yeah, just next time or next person, right? So. And it's a different vibe than the other, this kind of socialist lefty protests that are more zombie like. But as soon as they start, worked up, how you doing? Touching their head or face or spazzing out, just politely ignore it. Hopefully they can stop. If not, get along next time or get along with the next person. But this is key because then we can respect each other and look at and talk to and listen to each other and get along great. And save Canada. So that's why it's incredibly important. And proud, polite, patriotic Canadians to teach kids to be is to not be able to look at each other, talk to each other, just to bother each other more when all that gets harder. So. As soon as they start, just politely ignore it. Next time or next person be cool with, and off you go. Right? If they stop, get along. If not, next time, if not, next person. But this type of proud, polite, patriotic show of force and confidence is what's missing out there in the gender-neutral, uh, social, uh, socialist, commie, zombie apocalypse where people are, what's up, can't look at each other, respect each other like me and that guy's hiding near each other um, when they get all worried about it. That's what's missing. And that's what proud, polite, patriotic Canadians can give to everybody. So if they're like, well, I don't want to be weird, I don't want to learn this, I want to learn that. Do you want to be somebody that's easy to be near and be nice to and look at and talk to or listen to because that is key because if you go the other way you can't be right there you go oh young lady opted for shy contact instead of eye contact done with ladies and gentlemen not the rude sketchy spaz out like a monkey hit by a taser bullshit Straight up guy, slightly pissed off, fantastic. I'm glad he could share it with me and I could understand it and I could share with him a little bit of empathy and life goes on. Restore the confidence crushed by the commie zombification, the rude, sketchy commie zombification, by being proud, polite, patriotic people who stand for our self respect and stand for uh, the best for our people where we live and our country. And that is what's missing and what could unite the masses as simply being people that are cool with each other and cooler with each other than most. We can help everyone be cooler with each other and then deal with fun or serious stuff like being able to look at and talk to each other about whatever or dealing with threats to our country or our future and so on. Right? So there you go. And the walk down. Normal.
and that's why. See you start? Start trying to force you to put up with them, touch their head, face, pass out. Next time, or next person to go with, and that's it. Mm. And that's a key part. It just chilled out the whole hood. People weren't running at people, bothering them and running away. People were proudly marching and speaking and having a good time. That's what was happening. People weren't acting rude and sketchy and bothering people and running away. People were proudly and politely marching and walking and talking. And that's a key. What's up? You're good. Come on, go. That is a huge part of the sales pitch. Being able, to, being able to look at and talk to and listen to people. All those civilians out there. What's up, man? Would like to be. All those guys out there look at me fucking pissed off. Cops and other people are like, I can't show and get any respect in this fucking city. Always on some rude, sketchy, sheep or sideways shit. Mm. And they share it with me because I don't do that shit. So they can share how they feel. I share how I feel. It's fine. They can actually show and get it as part of this this process. All the girls out there, I try and look pretty. That's the first people see me look sketchy and ugly. Nope. The nice guys, nice girls. Nope. So, that's a key part of this. And I meet them all because I don't do that. So I need to fine, man, whatever. We respect each other, who cares? I was walking in a woolen suit, David. <laughs> I admire your chutzpah. Thank you, sir. Finally cut jib. Prime jib you got. Cheers. <laughs> just trying to find my camera, man. Sure. Oh, I saw him, the skinny guy with the long hair. Uh, yeah. yeah. He's I been know. bouncing around with a squirrel out here. Well, I, I, I have to uh, I have to keep my head under a hat because I don't want the police to know I got a black market haircut. Got you. That's Toronto in 2020. You can openly smoke marijuana, but uh, you got to go, hey, do you know a barber? Yeah. The world is upside down, eh? It is pretty crazy, <laughs> man. It is pretty crazy. Well, I'm not snitching. He's not snitching. I can't tell what your hair looks like under there, but uh, so I'm not snitching. <laughs> but I hope the missus is treating you a little better because we got to clean up for him once in a while. Oh, I know. I know. <laughs> well, anyways, you stay safe, my friend. Cheers, you too, brother. Sure, thank you. Let's go, David. Yeah, man. <laughs> Pardon me? Ah, uh, the lockdown. And the lockdown. Yeah. Sure, man. Here you go. Here's the Vaccine Risk Awareness Network and something else about Canada. It's all good, man. Well, we all got to hear different stuff to think for ourselves. If it's stupid, you can laugh. If it's smart, you can enjoy. So...
It's all dead, man. That's how we'll save this pile of rocks and trees. There you go. I just wanted to get that, that officer speaking freely and proudly saying he liked David Menzies of the Rebel, which was uh, kind of cool. And I uh, didn't really want to get their details because it wasn't my business. But just the idea that they were getting along and the cop is, is feel, feels fear to say that inspired as a free man, as a, as a, as a, as a proud man, uh, at a patriotic event. Well, it was kind of cool. So I wanted to get that for, for David and Rebel. And maybe I'll post a clip and send it to him later here at... 3.02 p.m. on Saturday, June 6, 2020, as we can all inspire each other to respect each other, communicate well, and say bye to him as well. So, because if we do that, and we go, all right, screw this, I want to be cool and straight up with people and express myself freely. How you doing, brother? Good to see you, George. How you doing? Excellent, man. Yeah. You can see how the Great Canadian House Party can be exported to clean up sh stuff everywhere. Because compared to the crap that was going on on the walk up here, we're a hell of a lot cooler. How are you doing? And as long as we make sure, we're good. Why just politely ignore it? Be cool for the next time you hang out or the next person you hang out with. And people won't resent each other and not want to do much and then bother strangers and run away all day like zombies trying to make more. And that is part of the point. So again, yeah, politely ignore it. Next time or next person. Be cool for it. I've seen the same people the next time. It's like, all right, you bother me, you pay attention to me bothering you. Forget it, let's be cool. Hello. Hello. Hey Zoe. Here, I'll give you a couple of things I've been giving out to a bunch of people. Maybe you and your peeps might like them. The Vaccine Risk Awareness Network and a little plan for us to save Canada. I want to get the boys to man up, help you girls and kids chill out. We can all be smart and cool. If we like men and we like women, then uh, we're good to go. Oh, thank you, ma'am. Here. Yeah, here, I'll trade you as well. There you go, young lady. And here's another one for you as well. And, uh, yeah, it's the offline info war plans. There you go. You're welcome. Good luck. Good luck today. Good luck in school. Thank you, ma'am. Cheers. Yeah, gladly ignore it. Next time, the next person. Be cool. And that's life. Right. And gladly ignore it. Life be ignored. Instead of bothered, blamed, embarrassed. Next time, next person. Be cool. It's gladly ignore it. You can't show and get respect. You're going to screw up your relationships anyway. So, uh, so don't. And that was an example, a uh, counter-psychological operation example, of how the great Canadian House Party, aka proud, polite, patriotic Canadians, not angry, messed up people, mess with each other, mess with other people, being messed with, but uh, the proud, polite, patriotic Canadians, the great Canadian House Party, uh, can chill out everybody else out there. Because you saw that happening in real time over the half an hour that, that we were out there, right? And all the rest of the people that, that do that, act rude and sketchy, can't help it, they attack polite Canadians, uh, they can't help it, they can't explain why, politely ignore it, maybe next time you hang out, or if they stop, cool, or next time you'll be cool, or the next person you'll be cool for, right? And that's about it, right? Because otherwise, the, the opposite is the worst. The opposite you bother each other, you can't do anything, you bother strangers, you run away all day. You can't be nice and look at it, talk to each other. So, that's the opposite. 
So we can beat that, and those people are turned into rioters and looters, uh, and zombies and rioters and looters, right? So that's the idea. So we can actually stop that, and we can save proud, polite Canadians who can teach kids to be, instead of not being able to look at each other because we're acting too rude and sketchy. Right? And that is an example of the counter-psychological operation hitting the streets from college and university to uh, up Young Street and so on. How are you doing? Uh, sure. What do you uh? What are you doing? Sorts of all sorts of questions. So you you want me to take a picture of you doing this? No, I just wanted you to take a picture of this. Okay, sure. I'm just I'm just filming right now, or I'm just uh. Oh, you're, you're live? I'm live. Yeah, I'm streaming. Anyway, I'm, I'm recording anyway. Okay. You get a sense we're all in this together, having a conversation about white privilege, gringo lingo for making planet Earth an equal opportunity slave ship. Gotcha. I'm hip, bad man. I like all it. Right. If you have any questions, let me know. Sure. War zone, hospitables. Now war zone streets. They used to shoot looters, now they reality news stars. Technocratic medicine, Mary Poppin' Bill says, just a spoonful of BS helps the medicine go down. I like it, man, it's like the Bob Dylan video. Yeah, yep. exactly. Slaves and fake people wear masks, wake up sheeple. Right, Bauer, race card, sidelines, COVID non-debate, buying time for second wave, rollout 5G, vaccine tracing, technocratic dictatorship. Agreed, all things we need to avoid. All right, okay, let's uh, do another one. All right. Boarding goes up for second wave lockdown, disguised as riot threat, calls for lower police budgets, and as riots erupt on queue, Hail Mary military saves the day. Trudeau protects his own government when he should write his MP. This just in, PM de facto Antifa leader of Canada, torches parliament at 10 tonight on CBC. Got it? I like it. Turn it in. I got it, man. Cool. Any other thoughts on this? Oh, well, this was last week. The new normal is state terrorism. Awesome. What's oh, your name? We got this one from last week. Oh, I missed one? From last week. Trudy Bellwoods was a stage photo op for Tory in the media. It was too crowded and homogenous. Thank you for line crisis actors. Frontline crisis actors. Possibly, man. Oh, what's your name? Tom. Tom BK. Nice to meet you, man. BK? Yeah. Nice to meet you. Here, I'll give you, a, I'll give you a little the Vaccine Risk Awareness Network. And I'll give you a little eight-point plan to save Canada, especially for us guys to kind of man up and do it. What's up, brother? Chill, man. Sorry. Uh, there you go. Nice to meet you, Tom. Cheers. Hello, Mr. Luca. Hey, man. How you doing? I'm good. Just, 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 I'm filming here at the house party. I think the proud, polite, patriotic Canadian house party can get. Uh, can you see the counter side up? Hit the streets. Yeah. People there, are like, there was whoa. A guy with a machete. He yeah. got chased. I'm just watching the video now. Oh, really? It's insanity. Yeah, I, I was yeah. waving a machete around. Yeah. And the police tased the motherfucker down, man. It's crazy. Right. So, uh, and yeah, I heard Antifa was kind of like riding along, giving people a finger and stuff like that. So I didn't see that. I, 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 didn't I was, I was, I there. was walking from the front to the back, and I didn't see any of that. Yeah, yeah. You know, but I, I, you know, maybe it, maybe it happened at some point. I was, yeah. You know, it was a long line of people. Exactly. But what I will say, man, is we we went out there and we chilled out the public. I filmed walking up here from church to Carlton, all super sideways. Some people cool, but super sideways. Can't look at you. Can't look at me. But we headed out there, and the whole block was like, oh shit. We should respect these people. They seem to be on that shit. They're cool with each other. They're fighting for the country. I want respect. I want to show and get it with you. That's how we do it. How am I going to do it? I need somebody to respect to show and get it. How am I going to do that? We went out there and we fucking showed. You know, the counter side after the rain. By example. Yep. Yep. Exactly, man. Yeah. We, we know that there's infiltrators and different things like that happening, but look at us. We're celebrating with music. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, celebrating with music, there's food, people having your food. Like, music, people chilling. It's, 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 this, is what, this is what it's about to be Toronto. Uh, Toronto Terrian, Canadian. This is, this is what I call the new fan. Every week you come here, you see the same faces, yep. you say hello, meet each other, give each other gifts. It's beautiful. And it's sad that this is where it's taking it for us to come together, but. You gotta look at it in the positives, right? So we're coming together. I call it the Great Canadian House Party, man. I know you do. It's this is the Great Canadian House Party. This is like a happy Canada Day celebration. Yeah. Who in Toronto wouldn't want to come here and be like, fuck yeah, I'm proud to be Canadian. I'm happy to be Canadian. I want this place and these people to do well. Of course. Yeah. Uh, I don't know if we're still there. There's some Black Lives Matter protesters. If you want to go talk to them. Yeah, sure. I'm happy to. They cleared out completely or? Yep. Yeah. 
I'm happy. I was there. I ran into him. I, I ran into him last, last weekend at 4.35 p.m. because I was just walking from here to Young and College. I knew where I lived. I just ran smack dab into 4,000 of them. So I filmed them for about a half an hour, 40 minutes, and I put it on there. And they were peaceful but angry, so I could kind of empathize and feel their pain. And so I see where they're coming from. The problem is, I think that, you know, here, we're sort of encouraged to have things to say. There, they're more encouraged to have things to chance. You feel me? I, I don't it's know. Like, I, I'm I not trying to involved. slight them. I, I haven't like, been involved, so I can't say. Okay, fair enough. But uh, if that's your experience, that's your experience. That's Generally. Right? Well, like here, we're not, We sometimes we just all yell at once, but a lot of the time we're having unique conversations, yeah. right? There, I don't see that happening as much. It's more kind of quiet, waiting to shake. Some, some of it is, lots of people. Really? But I would like it if they had more conversations plus chanting. I wouldn't mind if we had more chanting as well. Maybe, maybe where they started off in uh, 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 last week's right? square. No, Nathan's uh, Nathan Field Square. Right. They, uh, maybe they're kind of conversing like us before they go marching, right? We don't know. Right? Could be. Could be. But, uh, yeah, that's, that's I'm not trying to dog them because these Absolutely people, these people like well, these people are peaceful. Right? Yeah. When they're peaceful and they're angry, I can empathize. When you're violent, you're taking out, like if you're angry at somebody, you take it out on me, I can't empathize. Or somebody else, right? So they were peaceful but angry, so I can empathize. Yeah. I can be cool with them, yeah. right? But otherwise, uh, but, you know, so I filmed it. Uh, I, you know, I tried to come up with some solutions to help them out. And I, ho I hope they do well. The problem is, you know, there's a bigger power structure behind this, right? Yeah. Destroy small businesses, let the big ones take over. It's like when they burned down Queen Street West by Bathurst in 2008. Yeah. Uh, it's like what, the video store, happened. suspect video. There you go. Yeah. And then because they wanted to try to sell, like buy out the business, they wouldn't do it. Yeah. So they burn it all down and then they just build up their new corporations. Exactly. That's what's happening here worldwide is all the small businesses going down, big corporations are taking over. Yeah. You know, it's like the nations, the corporations themselves. Here's the other protest coming through. That's them there. Cool, brother. Maybe. Well, you heard it, man. Manful World is, is taking over the Toronto scene here. That's right. And Luca, you want to shout out? You want to shout out ETF or or, uh, or your music? Oh, yo, uh, no. MyETP.ca is now live since yesterday. Official website. I know when we first spoke, I said uh, ETP.ca. I was trying to do that. Maybe maybe because I said something, someone sure. went, took the website before I was able to take it. Oh, okay. It. But it's myetp.ca. Okay. You'll find our whole platform there, what we're about, our history, what we're planning to do. Yeah, it's all there. Thank cool. you. Cool. So myetp.ca. Yes, Luca, yes. brother. Good to see you, brother. Thank you, man. Yeah, man, let's catch up. Sure. Cheers. So, on Luca's suggestion, I'm going to go check out the uh, BLM uh, protest as well, which I filmed last week. <laughs> sure, all right. <laughs> and so, we're going to next. We'll go check it out, and uh, we'll try and, uh, and and get the vibe, and hopefully we're cool. They're cool. Oh, a well, if they're escorting people. That's okay. I mean, we can talk to each other. We shouldn't bump into each other. Our attention's all inflamed. So. They're not. They're just directing them. They're just directing them. They're just directing them. They're just directing them. Don't act like a mess for no reason, all right?
but I think I think a lot of these people can be patriots. And I wish people luck with any just cause, including theirs, including ours. And the people that fuck around with us or them, fuck them. You know? We police ourselves and we got backup. So, I ain't tripping. Yeah, well, you know, it's our job. People who know more need to share more. They need to share more with us about the specifics of their cause. We need to share more with them about the specifics of our cause. So, that's the key. You know? And we can't be misconstrued. You know, I gave you a flyer. You can't you know, t trust the media. I gave you a flyer. That's how we feel. <clears throat> there you go, we're sharing space here, that's cool. Yeah, it's fine. I was I ran into them at Bain College last week and uh, they were angry but peaceful. There's four thousand, there's a lot there. And because um, I, I was just leaving here at four thirty, I, I ran into them. And I filmed them for half an hour. Oh, no, no. The last week they weren't coming here. Last week they were at Bay and College. Yeah, no, I know. I know. I remember that. We, we, we talked about this last week. Yeah. And, uh, well, I think you should be because I think there's enough space here for us to share. You know, so. Yeah, yeah, we're fine. They want to wear masks. That's up to them. Yeah, you know. It becomes fashionable, right? Whatever's fashionable. So, or maybe, or maybe they don't look into the COVID crap like we do as much. But but they're open to it because I gave a few flyers out last time. A few people showed up here. They're open to it. They're like, yeah, the government's definitely yeah. lying. Yeah. Sure, you have some lies. Okay, you know we know they're we know they're messing with us. So it's not like they're totally anti. Like no way, believe everything government says. No, no, no. no, they're not. They're not like that. You know. I think it's cool. I honestly think a lot of these people can become patriots. You know, just just have different interests like all of us. So it's not... If you're going to get off your ass and do this sort of thing, you can be a patriot. You know? Mm. Yeah. You know? We all start somewhere. You know? <clears throat> they say if you're young and you're not a liberal, you have no heart. If you're old and you're not a conservative, you have no brain. <laughs> That's a classic saying. Because we always want to do the right thing, this and that. And then we get older, we go, okay, wait a second. We don't need big government. We don't need more taxes. We don't need, you know, we don't need more welfare. We don't need more affordable housing. We need to make sure people can earn their own money. You know, you change as you get older. Yeah. I'm filming so this is almost done. I, I, I had a 15 minute video from last week uh, of the BLM protests and they were peaceful at Bain College. Yeah, they were peaceful. They were angry, but they were peaceful. They were they were angry, which is fine, but they were peaceful. So I totally empathized. I'm like, Drones no problem. in the sky. Drones in the sky. Drones in the sky. Drones in the sky. Yes, we are against drones in the sky. The drones in the sky with diamonds. Oh, drones in the sky? Drones I don't know, man. I'd rather deal with people than, than, than computers in a lot of cases. So. You know? I don't know, but I think. Yeah, I think reform is better. Yeah, exactly, exactly, brother. No, I know where you're coming from now. I think they're basically stealing Operation Bend of Knee. Yeah, you know, this is a little. Uh, well, at least it's peaceful, right? It's peaceful and unified, and I get it. I think, uh, you know, with more information, you know, the same bastards that killed Martin Luther King and Malcolm X are still in charge of central banks. So if they learn that, they'll be like, well, fuck those people. 